Another Onshape feature video here today. I want to show you uh, the revolve feature uh, used for like designing a wheel and uh, you know a sphere, a lot of different things. So I'll just do a sketch here and show you how to make our sphere real quick. Um, with the revolve, you need to have what's called an axis of revolution, right? So my circle here that I've drawn, I actually need to trim part of it away and have an axis that I'm going to revolve this whole thing around. I'm going to actually go to Revolve and choose my sketch that I'm going to revolve. It's asking for an axis. Choose that right there, and there you go. I have a sphere. Uh, the next thing I want to show you is actually very useful when uh, doing any designs that may need a revolve. And uh, for instance, I know that the uh, Onshape Learning features has a wheel, right? And this is the wheel uh, measurements over here. That they want you to actually design. So if I quickly just do the uh, rough sketch here, coming off of a plane, go up, go over, right, up, and then it actually asks you to mirror it, which I'll do, right? So I have my sketch. I'm going to mirror it. It's asking for mirror line. I'll choose that. What am I going to mirror? All of that. And now I can go ahead and uh, dimension it based on what it's asking for there. So I have this first one in here. Click, click is 40. Let's zoom in on the touch now that I've gotten something. Uh, this one outside, outside is 75. This one is 100. All right, and now the rest of these here are going to be using like the special like revolve kind of thing. Watch this. So for this first one over here, the 250, if I click on the point, click on my revolution line, right? This is just a regular dimension, but now if I drag this past the line, I now have a diameter dimension. So this one here was the 250, right? Let me uh, just move these kind of around here, clean this up, and I'll continue with the other one. So I did the 250 here. Next one here is 200, click, click, and then go past the line, 200. This one here is 165, 165. This one going past was 75. And then, then this bottom one here, last one here is 25. And I am undefined still because it looks like these guys are in line. There you go. So there is the wheel for the uh, on shape learning pathway. And then the last thing you gotta do here, right, is do the revolve. Click on your sketch. Revolve axis is down here. And there you go. You now have a uh, a wheel. Good job. That's how you use the revolve. Good luck. Have fun.